Relatable moment alert. You're playing chess. You think, a rook? A pawn? These are so boring. Can a dude get freaking Donatello on his board? Well, if you hadn't thought that way, that's too damn bad. Hero clicks, the thing nobody asked for, but apparently they've been doing this for quite a few years Bruh. now. I got this absolute heap of Hero Clicks, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle themed, along with a couple uh, Wonder Woman ones on Black Friday off of Troll and Toad for, I want to say all of it was like 20 bucks. It was really cheap, but I'll, I'll throw my receipt up here if I can find it. It's interesting to me. I was a big fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid, so I'm, I'm happy to open something related to those suckers. And also, whenever I see something new and it's cheap i kind of don't like to try it especially the mystery component so yeah we're gonna open all these suckers today shredders return i was looking for like what's in here there's like a couple dudes on both sides if if that's all of them there's only eight and i think there's probably 20 in this box hopefully that's not all of them we're gonna get going i guess i said that i liked teenage mutant Ninja turtles but i think i'm gonna be quickly embarrassed because I doubt I'm gonna know all of their names. Like, I know them all, but I, I think it might take me a second. Like, I, oh, what is this guy's name? Okay, so let's go. Michelangelo, orange. Raphael, red. Donatello, purple. I can't remember blue guy's name. Is there paper in here with his name on here? Leonardo, yep. Okay, so this is like a super shitty card. So bad, but yeah, it has like his stats and whatnot. And there's a set list it looks like. So he's number four of the set, his powers and whatever. We'll take him out of his little case. It's actually, he's pretty well packaged. Paint job is, I mean, it's okay. It's a really small figure, so I can't be too, too picky, especially since this piece probably cost 50 cents how it works is like they have this like little dial you turn this it like does their health i don't know how to turn it oh it's just really crunchy maybe he's a little busted or something because i don't know if it's supposed to be that hard but yeah like you got like speed shield range really hard to tell my camera is not great at focusing on things that small but yeah leonardo i think that there are going to be some rarer pieces in here his card says he's like a, a 50 point value that might have some weight to how good he is. But yes, my boy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has had quite a number of renditions. I've never seen this one that's like currently on Nickelodeon or something. Casey Jones. See, like I vaguely, vaguely remember the cocky mask guy. Not very well. Oh yeah, see, look, this guy's... He turns way easier than Leonardo. He's also a 50 point. Let's see what number he is. He's number 11. So there's more than eight confirmed. His paint job is pretty good. I mean, it's kind of a, some intense patterning on him. So I'm impressed. I could see why if you have like a premium figure, these are cool. I don't know if people actually even play this game anymore or if it was ever played. I have no idea. I was reading online that at one point it was, I think it went out of business or something. But then somebody else bought it. Oh, we got, ooh, whoa. Okay, see this, this is actually very cool looking. It's like purple, he's translucent. And then there's like a uh, an orange figure on the inside. Wow, that is, uh, that's actually really crazy looking. Okay, he's got like some wings. Is this like OG Superfly from the new movie? I don't know. I, I guess he has a card. Wow, this actually looks super cool. I'm assuming he's a little bit more rare. He's got a book, man. This guy is, okay, Robug, Lord Dreg. Wait, I don't get it. Is he Lord Dreg or is he Robug? Oh yeah, it says Lord Dreg right there. Or maybe he summons Robugs. Man, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this is very cool. Very, very high quality looking. I'm going to be very intrigued looking to see if these guys have any value because maybe I'm wrong, but if some of them have value, this one's probably up there. Put Lord Dreg back in his case, man. Lord Dreg just hit the expansion jutsu and won't fit anymore. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm having a decent amount of entertainment so far. I mean, he was like number 20 or something crazy, so there's a lot of these suckers. Oh, let's go, Rat rat Dad. I thought it was so funny how they did him in the movie. Like, normally he's like a ninja master, but in the new movie, he's not. He's fat and ugly. Not that he was ever not ugly, but wait, what? Silver? Oh, gosh, dang, Sliver. I, ah, oh, yeah, that was really embarrassing. Anyway, Sliver, not Silver. So I have four of these Wonder Woman ones. We'll uh, open them throughout, I suppose. On the back, we have Wonder Woman, obviously. Uh, I don't know, Big, Big Bertha. And then it, this looks like Starfire from Teen Titans Go. I guess Teen Titans Go is DC, so that's actually possible. But, I don't know. 
So is this Big Bertha? It might be Big Bertha we just got. Yeah, her name's Queen Hippolyta, Hippolyta. So I think it is the Big Bertha, but just in a different outfit. It's got white, I think. So I think it's probably just a common, whatever. Back to the boys. No more thoughts for me, for now, at least. Oh, we got a basic punk. I almost guarantee this guy has zero value. Yep, just a green. Bebop? Oh wait, Bebop is like the, what is he? The hippo or the rhino in the movie? Interesting. Have any of you guys ever uh, heard of this game before or am I the only one that's even been able to find it? Uh, let's go, Raphael! On the box, there's like all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wearing spacesuit armor. So I'm assuming that's like the rare version of the, the casuals, the basic boys. It's kind of fun that there's like actual physical characters. Okay, come on. Give me another rare something or other. Michelangelo. Oh, he's not looking good. Not looking good at all. His paint is so bad. He's like scuffed up all over the chest on the hand. Yeah, he's uh, he's been through war. April did something, did him a little dirty. Or maybe they played curling as with him as the, the curling thing. Anyway, I love that sport. That's a really fun sport to watch. Accordion card. I think the Olympics are pretty funny. Just like what they choose to include. All right, baby, what do we got here? Oh, we got the Shredder? Why you got freaking monkey hands? I don't remember him having these club hands, but also, oh wait, what the? He's got this silver border around him. None of the other ones have had that. And then he's, he's bra brown, bronze or something. The rarity system is so hard to understand. I'm gonna have to look it up at some point. Yeah, I remember thinking Shredder was a freaking sweet villain though. All his samurai armor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Gosh, there are so many of these. If you were to open, like try to open the whole set, that's actually probably super difficult. Oh my gosh. Just <laughs> what the heck is this guy? Is this a regular gangster? Malo, like Malo Oats, the fake Lucky Charms. Um, Yeah, what are you gonna do with that crowbar against freaking Shredder? I'm pretty sure I got this whole box for like 12 bucks. So the secondary market for this is, is probably negligent. I'm sorry. Okay, so here's the Rhino guy, Rocksteady. Yeah, I never saw these like mutant characters in the show as a kid or, or maybe I didn't, I just don't remember them. So seeing them in the, the new movie, I was like, who the hell are these guys? All right, Shredder's return. Come on, baby. Let's get, let's get something rare. Let's get something exciting. Okay, Donatello, basic Donatello. His bow staff kind of looks like it might have curvy carrot, if you know what I'm talking about, disease. Curvy carrot disease, yeah. His hand is also making his staff green, so. You guys ever see the, like, live action Ninja Turtle movies? Ooh. Those are, like, I thought they were awesome as a kid, but looking, oh, whoa! Okay, this has gotta be something good. He's invisible. This is like Crystal Spartan. Foot tech, twin katanas. He's just got white on him. And he's only power 35. So maybe it's just like his ability is going invisible and he's actually not even that good. It looks sick though. I mean, it's easier to look sick when you don't have to paint, I think. But yeah, that show, movie, it's kind of shocking to be honest. All right, what do we got in here? What is this, The Flash? Oh, I think it is. Why oh, you got Orange Fro? I guess it's not really a Fro. Yeah, it just says Flash on it. From Rebirth 1, 2016, Titans. Okay, so I guess they kind of tell you when they came out, this version of them and what they were in, a movie or comic or something. I don't know. One reason I could never get super into hero clicks, it's all about superheroes, obviously. So like, sure, opening a couple Wonder Woman, whatever. Opening Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, sick, but like, I, I'm not gonna spend freaking 50 bucks to open Marvel bull crap. Let's go! Invisible Ninja, number two. Man, I love these ninjas. What is this one? Foot Tech Shuriken. Okay, so Foot Tech is definitely just like their word for like grunt soldier, I think. Yeah, I might actually shoot myself in the head if I was opening these and it's like, look, it's Spider-Man. Uh, excuse me, what is this? I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. Naked Catwoman, it seems. Uh, I mean, thankfully you can't really tell too much what's going on. Cheetah, uh, yeah, a common character. Never, never seen her. She looks like something from, that's what this character looks like. Furries probably love this shiz. You might be thinking or even wishing that we're almost done. Yeah, I think we're halfway. <laughs> Gosh, dang it, there's so many. Oh, we got the same dude, but he's purple this time around. Let's huh? let's see. Okay, so he's got green, so maybe a, an uncommon or something. This one's silver though, which would make sense because this says purple dragon, which I think is like the, the gang. So he's, no, he's like semi-rare. And then Mala, which is like an actual character of some importance, 
is silver. So that makes sense. Kind of lame though that they would just do the exact same figure. Pizza, 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 pizza. Turtles love pizza. Okay, we've seen this guy. Now it's kind of annoying that they don't give you like a little set list or something, know what to look for. Oh, April O'Neil, here she is. This is a cartoon one. This is the one I re remember, I'm pretty sure. 1988 comic series. So this is probably the one that carried over into that cartoon one I've seen. Uh, she's just a white common. She is also just like a white human being. Okay, actually, um, guess not anymore. She was she was black in the most recent rendition. Let's go! Invisible Ninja number three! Oh gosh, you remember I just, you know what I just thought of? Ninja flossing at the New Year's thing. Gosh dang it. Oh, that was that hurt. Okay, what's this guy called? Foot tech three segment staff. Yeah, so he's just a common. Imagine having that happen to you on live television. Gosh, I can't even. Wait, okay, so this guy's definitely something special. So I think he is special. I thought for a second that he had like a special box, but I think he just shifted. I mean, he still looks sick. Like he's got like fire coming off the bottom of his boots. He got the laser swords. It does only have him as a silver looking nice. It does look like maybe he farted and like the gas is accumulated in his mask because it's, you can't really see out there. But I think he actually does have like a separate head in there. Like I think you could pop this mask off and there would be a head. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah, Lord Dreg is still our best pull. I think he's the only one that has a gold. Shredder has this silver board, which I don't know what that means. And then he's also bronze, I think. But maybe that's just gold and it just kind of looks weird on this one. No, this is those are two different colors. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, now we're starting to get low. We have seven left, including this one. Splinter! Wait. Yeah, what the? Okay, something is wrong with me. I knew that Sliver was confusing. Sliver is, I think Sliver is like maybe a bad guy. Splinter is the person that teaches them. The rat, I guess, that teaches them. Man, that's really embarrassing. I can't even, I don't even want to know what you guys are going to say about me. I should have known. They don't even look that similar at all. Is, is Sliver a bad guy? Man, I can't believe that blunder. Oh my gosh. Is this number five? What is this? No. Foot Tech Qatar. I haven't seen this one either. I'm getting all the in invisible boys. Maybe I should be mad because they're all comments, but I'm not. So there's actually so much variety. Have we, we gotten like what, one or two doubles? Frick, okay. I should stop running my mouth about the invisible ninjas because we just did get our first double of them. Alrighty. Wonder Woman, last one, let's see. Hey, let's go! Starfire, I think. Oh, wait, actually, we're gonna see. It is Starfire confirmed. Okay. Um, yeah, she's just a common, but pretty desirable, I would guess, as far as them boys are concerned. If you know what I'm saying, she does look like she kind of sucks though. Last three. Come on, baby. Give me another gold. This guy, Mohawk Punk. Yeah, he's just like a purple, purple dragon gangsta. Nothing special there. Give me something good. This dude! Okay, looks like the brain mind devourer from Baldur's Gate. Anybody playing Baldur's Gate? Game's so good, he just barely came on Xbox, so finally gotta play it. Crag, I don't remember him whatsoever. He looks like just a blob, which I'm assuming is kind of what he's supposed to look like, so whatever. Cool, I'm just glad I didn't get a double. Last pack, come on, limited edition, guys. That means gotta be Gremlin in the last pack. So this guy's just a common, uh, let's see what is his name? Fugitoid. Man, he looks like, kind of like Bob, just with legs. Yeah, that's uh, the last one. I'm excited to see if Lord Drag has any value because this quality of this figure compared to any other figure is, let's say intense. I mean, maybe this guy kind of rivals him sl slightly, not even rivals, just competes, but Lord Dreg wins. Lord Dreg is like a fantastic figure, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the video gamers. Let me know what you think. Is this, like, is this fun to watch? Should I get some more? Or is it shit? Or, anyway, yeah, that's, that's the video. Like and subscribe if you like my garbage. If you don't like my garbage, don't like and subscribe. That's your choice. Anyway, bye gamers.